this is going to be really an emotional experience for me because we're going to uh, try a Barolo that's over 50 years old, 1958 vintage, first one made by Michele Carlo. And Michele, can you tell us about the 1958 Barolo as you remember it? I started my wi small winery in 1956. Uh, after two years, I decided to start it uh, with Barolo because the first wine we produced it was the Barbera. But Barolo, it is also that time a very famous wine. Uh, we decided to start to produce Barolo in 1958. Obviously, I don't know the 58, it was the great vintage because we decided uh, we started, it's not a good vintage or the great vintage. We are very lucky because 1958, it was uh, the natural green harvest because in, during the May, he have a big uh, ale uh, precipitation. He have a natural green harvest because the yield it was very low yield. Obviously, in 1958, the system of the production of the Barolo it is totally different at this moment because the all the system we have a vinification with the contact with the skin and maturation about. 35 to 40 days, very long maturation with the skin. At that time, with this system, we arrive in the wine a lot of the tannin, the sweet tannin and the bitter tannin together. And of course, it's necessary to put aside the wine for uh, eight, ten years before to arrive the balanced wine. This is uh, 58, it was uh, absolutely one great vintage because Barolo uh, is possible to drink after 50 years, it's not usual, it is mm -hmm. a great exception. Uh, we are very happy to have this great exception because when uh, I opened his, uh, it opened Barolo 58, for me it was always the great emotion because it is all my wine. When you up, we produce the wine, you have 23 years. Wow. It is uh, young, it, you have uh, not experience, yes. but you have also the great passion for to produce uh, the best Barolo poss possible. This wine is stay, you have aging three years in the large barrel, uh, in the hook, obviously, after we put it in the bottle. This wine is stay for uh, about more, close to 50 years in the bottle, but <clears throat> we have each uh, 10 years we change the cork. Huh. We change the cork because uh, uh, you have, uh, and we, we put so wine, uh, the other vintage, a small, small quantity now. because you have a natural uh, evaporation of the mm -hmm. wine. But uh, it was a great surprise when you tasted this wine uh, year, each 10 years, you have a great evolution, this wine, great potential, great complexity. It was always the great surprise, a great surprise, you have when you arrive at 30, 40, and 50 years, you maintain Amazing. the character, you maintain the freshness, you maintain the character of the Nebbiolo, because ba Nebbiolo it is an incredible variety. It is uh, perhaps the most noble variety for the grey variety, the Italian variety, but also the most difficult variety because only in a few small areas is devoted to produce the very special wine. Barolo, it is one of the, the, the best area for the Nebbiolo. And this wine is coming from the village of Serralunga. Serralunga it is perhaps um, the area, some area devoted to produce the most uh, oldest barrel because they yeah. devoted to the great, greatest longevity. And this is uh, barrel is coming from the old vineyard. This vineyard is about 40 years old. And of course, it is uh, very important the old vineyard for to produce uh, the old barrel because low yield, uh, obviously, it is. Great, com great character, great complexity. And this is uh, very important because now, obviously, we change the, the, the style. But uh, it is a, this is a testimonial where it is the Barolo. The Barolo, it is the wine every 
10 years we tested, we changed the character, we changed the complexity, changed the sensation. Mm-hmm. When you start in the first uh, 10, 15 years, you have a lot of fruity. As we, after, we changed it gradually for the spices, for the uh, uh, other sensation, for the more mineral uh, wine. And obviously, this, this maintained the character of the Nebbiolo. Nebbiolo, it is very difficult, a great variety, because I have occasion during my life to taste it a lot of Nebbiolo produced in every part of the world. But uh, when you taste the other variety, as uh, Cabernet or Merlot or Shiraz or whatever, it is different, the wine produced in Italy, French, and Napa Valley, my possible always to recognize the variety. Uh-huh. The Nebbiolo is totally different. When I have occasion about seven, eight years ago, it was in Napa Valley to taste the five or six different Nebbiolo produced in Napa Valley, is a totally different wine. <laughs> it is impossible to recognize the character of Nebbiolo. Uh-huh. You have a small quantity of the tiny, good <coughs> wine, obviously, but completely Just different. And now we have a very lucky we have this situation because in only this two era, Barolo and Barbaresco, he is devoted to produce the very special wine. And uh, it was for opera, this, uh, this bottle for me, it was always the great emotion because we never know what is in this bottle because after 50 years, I am not sure it is the top wine. I hope, because I open different bottles, usually, 90% you maintain the character. Yeah, I hope also this bot is maintain the character. I, I think it will, yeah. I'm confident. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me ask you, when the, did the harvest take place in 1958 <coughs> as opposed to today? Is, is, uh, is, uh, use this, I remember very well, 58, because uh, I, I harvested this grape at the last week of October. Uh-huh. Last week of the October, a very late harvest. And obviously, it is um, uh, this position because Serralunga it is about 400 meters height. Yes. Is, when he has this vineyard, it is the vineyard close to the castle of the Serralunga mm-hmm. because the owner <coughs> it was the guardian of the castle. You have two vineyards. Eh? This, this person, you have the guardian eh, because they have not our vineyard because after we, 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 we buy the vineyard, it is not our vineyard. We purchased, we purchased the grape for this uh, this person. And you have uh, also you have a person you have uh, you love a lot of the quality. And you have uh, always to harvest very late, very late harvest yeah, yeah. because this uh, for you have a very good concentration, very good concentration. Mm-hmm. We are very happy because the 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 weather condition was very well because it was the sunny days. It was the night with the cold night, uh, good weather, uh, good temperature during the day, good excursion, the weather, day and night. Mm-hmm. And of course, perhaps uh, it is, uh, uh, is uh, help uh, this wine for to have to a lot of character, for yeah. to have a good evolution. Yes. Is, uh, now, when do you harvest now? Your Nebbiolo for Barolo, Stefano. Yeah, it's a change a little bit the the maturation because uh, uh, I believe now is uh, uh, especially during the summer time. The summer is more dry, more warm, and especially uh, we have uh, you know usually in the north part of Italy in Piemonte with a variety like Nebbiolo, you need the, the last forty days. Uh, very dry and with great excursion between day and night. Uh, I, I believe that now with the new philosophy in the vineyard to make a big sacrifice and to project the top quality level of the grape, uh, that uh, you think that now we cut about 40% of the grapes. Every vine, the natural production is about uh, 12 bunches. For uh, produce the top uh, single vineyard of Barot, we get about only five or six bunches. And with this system, we are sure that uh, also in a normal weather harvest, 
we arrive to pick up the grapes with the perfect maturation and that we permit also to pick up the grapes a, a little bit earlier respect the 58. Uh, now in, also in the classic vintage we pick up the grapes about uh, uh, 10 to 15 of October mm -hmm. and that you know the risk is that during this time of the year arrive <laughs> one week of a rain mm -hmm. and destroy all the, the quality that we project <coughs> with great sacrifice in the village.